Hi there. I'm going to do a video walkthrough for you of some of my hydroponics just to give you information. I've been doing hydroponics for probably six years. I've learned a lot and I have a lot to learn yet. <laughs> so uh, because I live in South Carolina, it's way too hot. So this is my setup on the side of my garage. Um, I get these tents from people that are throwing them away because the tops have ripped out and I put uh, sort of a sheer fabric over it and it filters the sun so that they don't beat on them quite so hard um, and my plants do much better that way. So this style of hydroponics here you can see I have three different tower gardens. Well two of them are the Juice Plus brand which I bought off Facebook marketplace they're extremely expensive if you buy them but they are the best tower gardens uh, this is a cheaper brand and I have more problems with this one that plugs up um, in the little drain holes that are like down under here so I have more problems with this style um, so it's not really my favorite but I do use it um, currently, you can see it's full of a bunch of different basil. I'm drying it and infusing oil to cook with. Uh, this is one of my tower gardens. I went on vacation and my husband forgot to fill it with water, so it's kind of recovering. But you can see that um, I have thousands of tomatoes coming in here. These little yellow ones are ripe. They're just a yellow tomato. Um, and it's even though it's fall i'm still going to be getting tomatoes for a long time i have some more basil in here um, but in this style of hydroponics basically the basin is filled with water and it has a pump and it pumps it to the top and then it filters down through to the bottom and it just filters over the roots you can see if i open this see the water is there and then it just has these holes to make it go different places and it filters down over the roots um, this is kale I just put in so I'll have kale I'm gonna move these into my greenhouse so I'll have kale in the winter time um, some of my squash is not looking too good it's the end of the season so some of this is bad but um, it just gives you an idea of the hydroponics if you're going to do hydroponics very much, I highly recommend checking your um, pH and your solutions and stuff because that is what I really struggle with. Um, if your pH is not right and your um, nutrient levels are not right, your plants will not be happy. So another style of hydroponics, and this one is very inexpensive, is to just have containers. You can see this actually is just a five gallon bucket. And I had a tomato plant in there that died, but there were some tomatoes that fell off it and they just started growing. So um, these are brand new baby tomato plants just coming. So I will again, I'll move these into my greenhouse for the winter. Um, so basically in this, there is, this is a five gallon bucket. It needs more water, Woo -wee. Um, but it has water down in there. And then all it has is I have, um, an aerator like you would put in a fish tank this one has multiple because I have multiple pots here and it provides oxygen to the roots of the plants um, and then you put nutrients down in that water and they have the oxygen and they have the nutrients and you can see actually I have baby zucchinis just coming also having aphids but um, this is like a half of a 55 gallon drum uh, again, I just have water in there with nutrients and the aerator that bubbles to make oxygen for the roots. So you don't have to have anything fancy. You can use whatever. And nutrients and oxygen are your two things that you need. Um, nutrients can be expensive. There's other ways around it. I've played with a little bit. Um, but I can give you some information on that too. This is another style of hydroponics, and I built this myself. This is um, four inch PVC pipe, and then um, these unscrew so I could take it apart to clean it if I needed to. And basically, there is a big tub of water, and I buried it because in South Carolina, it's hot, and so it, it needs to, um, Boy, that needs water too. I've been gone, so. Um, but it, uh, 
the water needs to be kept cool. So that's why I have it buried. So the pump is in there and it pumps it up and then it will go into the top pipe and then it basically just goes back and forth down through um, and then it drains back into there and repeats. So it's, it actually uses a lot less water than a typical garden because it's recycling the water. Um, I will say this setup is fairly easy to make. Like I said, I built it myself just using some pressure treated lumber and PVC pipe. Um, but the downside to this system is that you can't put anything in it that would have a big root ball. So in a system like this, you would not put tomatoes or cucumbers, something like that, that would have a big root ball. That's why you can see I have green beans in there. Uh, they're finishing off, but I do still have some coming. Um, so uh, it, I'll keep it going until we get a frost. But you can't put anything in there that has a big root ball because it will just plug it up and then all of your water will leak out and you'll have a mess. But you can see down in here, this is the, the roots and they're not looking so great because I was on vacation and not taking care of stuff. But And it's fall. But um, So they'll have their roots, but green beans don't have the huge root ball that tomatoes or um, cucumbers, squash like that would have. So this is the a different kind. The water just flows through and gets pumped back through. It's the same concept, uh, except in the tower gardens. I will go back to them. Um, and basically what happens with the tower gardens is the roots grow inside this center tube. And they actually end up, this one needs water too, I know. But they end up down in the bottom. So... If you can see down in here, there's lots of roots. And what you want to see is these white roots. That means it's a very healthy plant. So that's a good thing to see there. Uh, so anyway, these are my three tower gardens. Um, and then I have these that just are pots with aerators and nutrients. And then this is the same concept. And I'm going to go over. I have one more setup that I'll do another video and show you.